Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. This 1967 Farmall 1206 is more than just a piece in some collection. It used to belong to Don Short, who passed away in 2012. Now his brother Rob owns and cares for the tractor, which provides him a daily reminder of Don's passion for collecting. My brother Donald was, he was a quadriplegic. He was hurt in the service in 1971, and he lived at home with us here up until he passed away a few years ago. And um, he was just a good all-around guy. He got into a lot of different things, and he was, he did a lot of things that most people probably wouldn't do, you know, but he, he was just the type of guy who he wanted to do everything himself, even though he couldn't do things physically for himself, just like this tractor. He, he would go have somebody find it, fix it, paint it, whatever it needed done. That's just the type of guy he was. Even though Don had already restored a couple of tractors, the family was a bit shocked when this big old 1206 showed up one day. I didn't even know it was coming. I mean, all he said was, we need to clear a spot out in the garage and I've got something coming and that's all I knew. And there it was. From what I was told, he bought it out of somewhere in Pennsylvania here and it was taken to Gauss's uh, tractors supply out in Ohio and they refurbished it and went through and redid everything for him and then dropped it off one day. I think he loved it, you know? I mean, I'm telling you, he didn't want anybody on it basically because he didn't want anybody scratching anything or getting it dirty or did you clean your feet before you got up on there? That was the type of person he was. He would fix things on this thing that really didn't need fixed just because I want it right, I want it perfect, and that's, that's what he wanted. The 1206 featured International Harvester's first turbocharged diesel engine. It was also the first two-wheel drive tractor with more than 100 horsepower. The one thing I do know, it's a powerful tractor. I mean, that's, of course, that runs in our family, everything we got. It's got to be one of the biggest, the fastest, the most powerful. That's just the way our family is. It's a big tractor. You get on it, and if you're not used to driving something like this, I mean, you, it feels like you're sitting about a mile in the air when you're sitting on it. And it's just big, it's powerful. You know, it's, it's not your normal tractor. Don might have picked up the classic tractor bug from his uncle Wayne, who has a pretty impressive collection of his own. In fact, Wayne now owns Don's Super MTA. Don also had his dad's old M restored, which went from a working tractor to a showpiece. Tractors have been around here for, in our family for longer than I've been here. You know, my father's M, we still have it today. He restored it. He went and told us he was going to go have it cleaned up and do some stuff with it. Well, when it come back, nobody was allowed to drive it or use it, so we couldn't use it on the farm anymore because it was too clean now. Rob admits he's just a temporary caretaker of the 1206, but don't bother asking if you can buy it because this machine will be staying in the Short family. In fact, I get people all the time coming up to me, when are you going to sell me that tractor? And I said, well, it's not going to happen. It's, it's here and it's not going anywhere. It will at some point go to my son, and I hope he carries it on through, through his kids and beyond. My son is starting to get really into the tractors. I mean, he can be in the house, and he'll hear this thing fire up, and he's right out there, because if you're going anywhere, he's got to be with you. If he was still around today, him and my son would be sitting in there probably watching tractor videos, and he'd be telling him at some point that tractor's going to be yours, and you'll be driving it someday. I hope to think he'd be happy with that. I'd hope that, you know, he would know that I'm trying to do what he would want us to do with it, you know. The one thing Rob does know, without a doubt, his brother Don had a bad case of classic tractor fever. I'd say absolutely, uh, in more ways than one. Everything from his toy tractor collection that we still have to the big tractors here, I mean, I, I would say yes. Sometimes he would sell things off and then go to a different thing and but the tractors kind of stuck with him. I think that was the one thing that he did that was his own. It wasn't anybody else's idea, it was his idea that he wanted to do. So, yeah, I'd say he had it. And he had it big time. <laughs>